I just signed the closing documents. <laughs> this is so weird. Hello guys. Today is my last day in the house and I flew home for this. So let me catch you guys up. So I did see a comment on my last vlog asking if I just moved into this house, why am I moving? And my answer to that is you gotta catch up on the vlogs. It also made me realize a lot of people are probably coming back to my channel and they're so confused on the house situation. But I mean, if you look up Nikki Dimar on YouTube, like the number one search thing is house poor. The cliff note version of that story is that I built this house in a past relationship with the intention of moving in with that partner and then we broke up and then I took over the house and then the interest rates were so high, the mortgage ended up being triple the amount that I thought it was gonna be. My lifestyle had to change because the situation was the opposite of what I wanted. It showed me what I did want and that is to live under my means, downsize and travel and really find my place outside of my hometown in this world. I have lived in my hometown since college, like right out of college. Hey guys, so today is Gabby and I's first day of school. I had a YouTube channel with my sister that took off and I never had to go leave the nest, find out who I am outside of being a twin and outside my hometown and we're kind of having a delayed situation here This is kind of what a lot of people do when they graduate college And this is what I'm doing at 28 years old because my life is in a very different format than the normal person And I'm documenting the whole thing. Anyways, today is my last day in the house So last time you guys saw me on the channel, I was in Hawaii I paused the move and I had the best time ever So if you guys didn't watch the Hawaii vlog after you're done watching this vlog go watch the Hawaii vlog So you can see what I was up to but that was such a nice pause on the moves because moves take such a long time. I first decluttered my house in August before putting my house on the market in September, October, and the house didn't sell till end of December, beginning of January. So I've been like in a state of moving since end of summer, beginning of fall. It is now almost spring and I'm still moving. It takes time. And now that I'm home, this stage of the move is the actual official stuff like signing papers, notarized documents, and overseeing the move, meeting the movers, and saying goodbye to things. Tonight, I leave for New York Fashion Week, but it was really important to me that I came from the airport to Pennsylvania for this like final hurrah. And most importantly, I came home to get my driver's license renewed because it expired at the worst time possible. I was out in LA trying to rent cars while I was out there. So I flew here last night and today, I am going to do a full beat down and get my driver's license photo and then do the important closing documents and then I have to pack for New York Fashion Week and see my family and then go to Fashion Week and say bye to my house. Yes, my Christmas tree is still up. I have hardly been home, but I just signed the closing documents. <laughs> and you know what's really crazy? I feel like the universe, God, whoever, whatever you believe in, not to get all like into all that if you're not into all that, but I'm just gonna be my candid self right now. There have been so many signs about California lately. So the woman who was gonna notarize all the letters came to the house and walked me through everything and I signed everything, filled out everything. And she said she lived in LA and California for like 15 years and then moved back. That's another person that I like crossed paths with who has been from here and lived out there for a while and then came back here. And I'm not even kidding. The word California has been brought up in every conversation and I don't even bring it up. It's just like really loud. California, California. So I feel like I'm getting confirmation and synchronicity from the divine that I am on the right path and I am following my intuition and what feels right. I've really been trying to lean more towards intuition and a knowing and what I want versus 
ego and safety net and everything that could go wrong, which my brain used to always go into. Selling this house after only living in it for a year definitely sounds crazy, but it feels right. And I'm just leaning into that and it's making me happier. It's making me feel better because at the end of the day, all we really do have is now, you know? All right. So um, my family friend Sandra just got here. She's going to, she's one of the people that's helping me move and she brought suitcases and we're just going to start doing some of that. I have to go get my driver's license though. Like I, I was in the process of getting ready when the woman came to do the papers. So my strategy for my makeup today is just super glowy, clean girl vibes with a grunge eye look. My driver's license from 2019 is so iconic. I literally beat my face for two hours to get this photo and I want to one up it. I think the worst it's not the worst thing in the world, but it would suck to have a glow down. That photo was like a really high standard. I spent two hours on that makeup. So hopefully we one up it. Nothing like being in competition with your past self. Anyways, this is the makeup. I did like a, I guess like a natural smoky eye, but it's still a smoky eye. And yeah, we're gonna go, go to the DMV. Last random day running errands in PA. Let's do this. <laughs> Right, so I just got to my parents' house. I'm gonna go get the papers, the photo ID stuff, all the forms that came in the mail, and I have to bring that with me to get my ID done. But I wanna see the puppies. I'll bring you guys with me. Hi! Hi, boys! Oh my God, I've missed you! Oh my God, come here, come here, buddy! Guys, today was a day. Brooke is here, by the way. She's helping me move out today. Basically, I spent all day running around. A lot of DMVs were closed. It wasn't until about like 5.45 p.m. that I was getting my photo done, but I found a place that was open. We got, we got the new driver's license. Check that off my list. I feel so good. However, I just made a TikTok about this. It's probably gonna go viral. This was my driver's license from 2019. I showed you guys, right? Are you ready to see my driver's license, my new one? Are you ready? I got all ready just to look like Gabby. That's not me, guys. That, I, that's Gabby's face. I didn't even do my makeup like Gabby. I don't even look like Gabby right now. It's just I, the, the way that the camera got me. Oh my God. But anyways, we ordered some Chick-fil-A. I haven't eaten all day. I had a granola bar. I've been running around. We got this done though. I can like rent a car in LA. I can ship my car. I can drive. We're finally free to do whatever. Let's go. <laughs> so this was so important, but I'm not gonna go to New York t tonight anymore. I'm going to go tomorrow morning because everything I was supposed to get done today, I didn't get to do today because I was trying to find a DMV that was open. But anyways, Brooke and I are going to pack for LA tonight. And that's what's on the agenda, which is so, weird okay so now I have my face beat to basically pack my house if you watch my last moving vlogs I organized things into PA LA and this is my LA wardrobe PA LA and we're gonna have to pack it all into carry-on suitcases or boxes so we're gonna ship and travel with some stuff <laughs> We are now in the car because as I was packing, I realized that my suitcases aren't big enough to put everything in them. I'm gonna have to go find another big suitcase or maybe two big suitcases and repack. Ay -ay -ay. <laughs> we are running to Kohl's. And we're here. Kohl's. <laughs> we need more suitcases. It's giving crunch. <laughs> I love to give crunch. Crunch. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna miss this strip ball. <laughs> Oh my God, that's the most here. We were filming Nikki and Gabby for Twinter. I know I've been busy today because I've hardly been posting on Snapchat. This looks nice. This looks deep. That looks deep. $319? What brand is this? Oh. Do we get gray or black? Black's kind of sleek. I look like a makeup artist. That's how they travel. They're like, hi, I'm here. Hi. <laughs> I love it. And they whip out all their kits of makeup. <laughs> oh my God, I'm about to draw up a lot of money. 400 each, 800. All right, let's go. 
nothing like an 8 p.m. Cole's run in PA. <laughs> Let's organize this into files. What's gonna be shipped and what's gonna be brought. Like what you're bringing and what can be shipped or what I could bring yes. in March. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, so we got the new suitcases, which are perfect. They're huge. So one's gonna be for shoes and one's gonna be for clothes. Okay, update. Brooke just went home. I have my everything in suitcases. Clothing, shoes, they were they are filled totally. And then I'm gonna have this little suitcase for like my pajamas and makeup and stuff. But yeah, this is my life, guys. This, I have to go through this to condense this, but everything that's going to my parents' house has left. All we have to do is go through this and then hire movers and I actually decided I'm keeping this dining table and chairs like I love this set and in my next house I end up in I'm definitely gonna have this um but yeah I'm getting rid of like mostly everything else oh and I'm also keeping this chair in the corner I envision this in LA and I envision this in LA so